It's been in a few videos already, but I finally got around to introducing you to my 96,000 mile 2001 Honda VFR 800. Now over the coming months, my aim is to make a series of 10 minute or so videos that will be a diary of my time with this bike. So first off, let's take a look at the background of this 500 pound machine. Yet yeah, this really did cost just 500 pounds. My boss saw it on Bike Trader and snapped it up as he wanted a project for Bike Social. Then he realized he wouldn't have time to do much with it, so he passed it to someone else in the team. They painted the forks, but then they left, which is when I took it on. Actually, I've already done a fair bit to it that will be coming in, in the videos that you'll be seeing here really soon, including a full service, which I do on any bike I buy, regardless of its history. I changed the clutch as it was juddering like mad and fixed a serious electrical fault that meant it left me stranded on the M1. And I replaced the shock with this one from Hagon, which really did improve it. The shock costs £340 and is adjustable for preload and damping, plus it's built for your weight and needs. In my case, mainly solo riding, but occasionally with a pillion and luggage. And it's made right here in the UK, Hainal in Essex in fact. I've got the remote hydraulic preload adjuster, which is an extra £160 and fitting it all will be for one of the videos coming up soon. But I can tell you two things. It really has improved the ride, which is unsurprising given how old and knackered the original was and it was a proper pain in the ass to fit. That's not Hagon's fault. It was the Honda designer who about 25 years ago decided it'd be great to hide a bolt behind the exhaust you're trying to remove and to ensure it rots away to the point that nothing can grip it. Anyway, oh, the, oh and the forks have also been properly serviced by K-Tech, which really did help a lot and wasn't expensive at all. And you can already watch that video up about there. Now ignoring the buggering about when it ended up with us and it was kind of passed around a bit, this VFR's had just one owner. It was a lovely guy called Martin Gerhold as a retired aerospace engineer. And he bought it brand new in September 2001 for £7,350 and he sold it to my boss Steve in October 2020. What makes this Honda extra special though is that he did all his own servicing and he logged every single fuel fill. He built a massive spreadsheet that covered all the fuel costs and that it, it automatically worked out the economy. It's even got details of all the parts he fitted like chains and sprockets, brake pads and everything like that. Now sure I'm a geek but it really is fascinating. It, it's a shame that it didn't get filled in between my boss Steve buying it and me taking it over in October 2021 but I've got it going again and will keep that data flowing. So. My last fuel fill was 18.71 litres and it cost £35.53 and I hope that dates this video. I hope that in a while you'll be watching this and going, oh, I remember when fuel was that expensive. It was £1.89 a litre when I filled this and I'd got 45 miles per gallon. Martin's spreadsheet tells me that a total of £9,252 has been spent on fuel so far over 96,620 miles. Back when he bought the bike, Martin was paying about 70p a litre and getting around 47 miles per gallon. And we can also see from that spreadsheet that the worst economy has been 41 miles per gallon, the best 64.7 and the average 52.5. So how does it run? When, when I got the VFR, it was great, running smoothly and having that lovely V4 note. As I've put just under 2,000 miles on it and so far, I've seen some pretty serious issues. And the idea of this bike was to strip the motor down and see what it looks like inside, but there's so much more to this for now. There's plenty of videos out there of people talking about new bikes they borrowed or whatever, but I wanna live with this and keep it going. I have my own 1999 ZX6R and a Grom and a three-year-old S1000XR, though I'll admit I'm thinking about trading that in for a GS at the moment. But anyway, it's the VFR that I use most. These VFR diaries are gonna get you up to speed on all the work I've done so far, but I'll also be doing the one bit of servicing Martin didn't do, the valve clearances. 
it's going to be interesting to see what they're like. And then I'll be doing some touring on it and I'll be taking it to Cadwell to compare it to a mate's one, which is why you might notice there's a random lever guard that I've fitted ready for that. And of course, I'll be using it every day, commuting, all weathers, everything like that. So let me know in the comments if there's anything you want to know, but please hit subscribe and that bell button so you don't miss all the videos I'll be doing about this, the highs and the lows. And look, I have to say that this project would be pretty much a non-starter for me if it weren't for Wiimoto. You've probably seen stickers around my garage of Wiimoto in plenty of other videos because I've used them for donkey's years and they're just the stickers that come with little bits extra in them when you buy bits. The ZX6R couldn't have happened without me being able to buy bits from Wiimoto and you know I've been buying from them for years and it's their affordable parts, some pattern, some OE and I should say this is not a paid placement. It's those parts that make this doable. You're not going to see me stick thousands of pounds of blagged kit on this bike. This is real life. I'll be showing you what it's really like to live with a high mileage motorcycle and I'll be doing as much of the work as I possibly can myself. I know I'm not alone. A quick check of our Bennett's Insurance database shows hundreds of you with VFR 800s between 1998 and 2002. So do jump in on the comments and tell everyone what you love or hate about yours and what you've changed. And until the next one, I'll see you soon. Of course, cool. the other thing these videos wouldn't be possible without is my employer, Bennett's. When your bike insurance is due, check us out, not least for the fact that all the common modifications like aftermarket exhausts are covered as standard, that we include shipping containers and secure wooden sheds as garaged, and that if you buy direct from us, you get free bike social membership. With exclusive events, competitions, and literally thousands of pounds of discounts, check it out at bikesocial.co.uk forward slash join to see how you can get more from motorcycling.